Salutations dear viewers, this is George from Ireland. So here I am uh, outside this triumphal arc, arch uh, in Moscow on Kutuzovsky Prospect, as in Avenue. Um, Avenue in English is where you come to, like Venir, but Prospect, like you're looking at it. Uh, so you can see this is, this was built in an era of neoclassicism, completed in 1834. See those uh, stylized Greek warriors, as though from hoplites, with their plumed helmets and shields. And if you get in closer, you can see some of the motifs uh, around the top. There are shields, there are bundles of rods, and so forth. You see the um, quadriga up, um, above, except it's got six horses, not four. Okay, that chariot. And inscriptions there saying, um, I spot a quotation from Marshal Kutuzovsky. Uh, Kutuzov, rather, that um, uh, by your blood you have saved the fatherland and each one of you is a savior of the fatherland and so forth. So it relates to the War of 1812 or the Patriotic War as they call it, uh, when Napoleon invaded, got to Moscow, found it largely burnt down. He attempted to um, blow up the Kremlin at only limited success and withdrew. As Nicholas I was later to say, his best general to General Jan General, Jan general February, so um, the uh, Russian generals have pursued an unpopular strategy, but ultimately a victorious one, of not fighting a major battle. It was Baradino, but simply um, allowing the French to overextend their supply lines and then harassing them with Cossacks as they're forced to retreat from Moscow in December 1812. Of course, Moscow wasn't the capital at the time, it was St. Petersburg. There we are, La Grande Armée um, was almost wiped out. Um, most of La Grande Armée was not French, they were Italian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, from all over the European countries which, um, which Napoleon conquered. So there we are. Uh, I think you'll agree, it's an aesthetically pleasing edifice and a fitting tribute uh, to the valour of the soldiers who laid down their lives for their Russian fatherland, sometimes we say motherland. So then you can see some 1950s era buildings, that's Soviet neoclassicism. These ones are rather solid, not too ornate. And then looking uh, west towards the setting sun, and there you see the um, uh, column of triumph at Victory Park, which is mainly about the Second World War. And perhaps in the background you can see the dome of uh, the Orthodox Church there. There's also a small mosque and a synagogue to represent all the major faiths of the Soviet Union, as was. But looking back at this triumphal arch up high, you see uh, these women like uh, ancient Greek goddesses holding uh, laurel wreaths and olive branches as well for victory and peace and various uh, symbols around the edge above the actual arch like a crown and so forth, uh, a, a lamb, an ox, a bear, heraldic symbols. You see angels up above in the middle flying on either side and uh, like Roman tribunes on the left hand side you see a man looking a bit like Julius Caesar with a wreath. Fortunately, you can't really make it out from this distance. I wish I had Zoom, wish I had a microphone as well. That's enough for the Triumphal Arch in Moscow.